everybody. This afternoon we are going to tour the Augusta Military Academy Museum located in Fort Defiance, Virginia. Let's check it out. Dr. Professor Rolla, who returned from the Civil War. He was a private in Company K, 1st Virginia Stewart's Cavalry. And he served, uh, he served for several years there. When he returned, he saw a need to educate uh, uh, student or uh, Confederate uh, veterans as they were returning from the war, because some of them were not educated very well. Uh, when the war started, and of course they lost five years, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, or four and a half years. But he saw a need for it, and he began uh, doing an education or giving classes for Confederate veterans, and it started at the first at the old Presbyterian Church, the Old Stone Church, up on the hill. And that's when it really began in 1865, and he eventually moved down here. Uh, and built this house, and he educated students in his house, and all of his children were born here. And this is a picture right here of Professor Roller, and we're actually standing in Maggie Bell Roller's parlor, and it is done in the vintage uh, time frame that she actually lived here to uh, show as far as the furniture goes. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to that, uh, since uh, Professor Roller was in the uh, Confederate Army. There are a lot of artifacts in here from the uh, Civil War, as you can see. But was in use, the entire building was in use up until 1984. 1984, that's correct. Wow. Now, it was different uh, during the period of time that I went to school here because the actual porch that you walked in on was enclosed. Okay. And faculty members. Uh, Faculty members lived upstairs in this building. Janet Roller, who was General Roller's wife, uh, Mrs. Davis, who was a house mother for the junior school because this, the, the academy had lower school, which was at, at, at different times, included the fifth grade, sixth grade, and the seventh grade. And on some very exceptional occasions, they had some people that were in here actually started in the third grade and had one teacher going all the way up <laughs> through their senior year. Wow. wow. <laughs> and I know one person who graduated from here that was that was at that level. Of course, Gus Military Academy was involved in a lot of sports. Eddie Faith rifle, oh, you know, marksmanship to lacrosse. We had a rifle team here. We had an indoor range, 22 caliber range, where everyone qualified, and plus they had a rifle team that practiced just like the football team. Mm -hmm. All varsity and JV, most of our varsity, uh, we, we played some junior colleges uh, in varsity sports, and we played their freshman class, and we usually did very well, especially when I was here. <laughs> Rosie Stillwagon, whose picture's up there, one of her first Heisman Trophy winners uh, oh, yeah. from college, as well as he uh, he was uh, Ohio State Sport, uh, uh, Hall of Fame for football. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame for football at Ohio State, I should say. Back, okay. and this, this is exactly what it looked like. Uniforms were prepared a certain um, uh, they were hung in a certain way mm -hmm. in the wall locker, you know, and it depicts you have a forty you have the overcoat, then your forty four button jacket. If the cadet was issued a forty four button jacket, the uh, gold braid here indicates that he's a second year cadet okay. on here. As on the blouse, that indicates that person is a three year cadet. Um, if he was cadet officer, his saber would be in in here. His sword would be in here, I should say. If he was, uh, you know, if he carried a rifle, the weapon would be uh, in the rack in there. 
toiletries and of course brasso shoe polish things of that nature because you have to have that start shirts gray shirt which which i would call an army of class b uniform but the mm -hmm. gray shirt would be in here okay. for uh because that was a standard shirt we wore except on sunday we wore white shirts with the blouse gotcha. or if they wore an eisenhower jacket this is actually that is an Eisenhower jacket right there. Oh, I see. Okay. See so how it's much short. shorter in length. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And uh, what's referred to as Hoover's classroom. Carl Hoover was a uh, math instructor here, taught algebra one, two, and geometry. And I also believe he did teach trig too. Oh. And this is what this is basically uh, you know, obviously the board that you're filming, this mm -hmm. this was put up for people that graduated from here to leave notes if they wanted to write something on there so different people have written things on there and left it periodically gets erased when it is they take pictures of it throw it up here on the wall oh, okay. yeah so they so it's still here to some degree these are antique desks are bolted to the floor mm -hmm. obviously there's a desk in front because the student sits there and you'll notice there's also an inkwell mm -hmm. in there yeah. so they are they're quite old but we used to go in march down here from in front of the barracks starting with f company which was the first the junior school straight into the big room and that's where we would go in and receive any instructions for the day a little elephant there yep <laughs> now the items that you're looking at such as the old milwaukee yeah. uh, beer bottle or as you call in college milwaukee's beast mm -hmm. all these different <laughs> All these different things were found underneath this building oh. when we were going through on the renovation. Oh. The uh, and so the stuff that was recovered was placed in here because there are really some real neat artifacts. It's got signatures on there too. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's uh, you know students or students i guess <laughs> a little graffiti on there a little graffiti <laughs> this is what augusta military academy looked like 1900 1929 mm -hmm. and you a to tell you a little bit about uh we we have a founder's day we still do it every year and founder's day is to remember the founder obviously of augusta military academy and of course we go up to the old stone church and we wreck you know to his uh grave site and we sometimes we have either vmi come in or fishburn and we do we have an honor guard up there as well as a color guard for that looking at that top center picture underneath the uh uh rifle up there that's mm -hmm. the courtyard here of what ama looked like oh, okay mm -hmm. with the bell tower to your right parades rain snow or shine we were out there for parade every single sunday there's another elephant bob bradford's bedtime toy <laughs> mm. that's uh, He's a good Republican. Oh, that's why the elephant. I, get that. <laughs> I can see now. Uniforms. This would give you uh, a much better idea of what the uniforms look like at Augusta Military Academy, both in the catalogs, advertising school, and it would show what they what you would have to have basically to purchase to go to school here. How would you get into the uh, the modeling? I guess it's who you know. <laughs> it's who you know. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Hey, you, come here. Yeah. Put this on, and we're going to take a picture of you. The oh, fallen wow. from World War One. the pictures we have there, which are a lot larger than what's in that book. Uh, got the King Kong. I like that. That's cool. A little songbook here. Right here, at the brick building. That was built in 1968. And that was the junior barracks. And there was another building next to this that was a wooden building that consisted of a, um, it was an academic building on two floors. And in the bottom, it was, uh, it, it had housing for 18 students that were in junior barracks. So this area over here, this, the largest swimming pool in Shenandoah Valley was located in the bottom inside of this, the right, inside the building. Wow. And that was, um, because we had a big swim team here, 
And then the military department was above on the far right-hand side, the reading and language lab on the far left side. And then, of course, there were academic built classrooms in the bottom of the big room on the first floor. And then there were classrooms on the side of the big room, the chemistry lab, physics lab, things of that nature. All right. So that was the Augusta Military Academy Museum. Memorial Day was just this, this past uh, week on the 29th. So thought it would be good to do a video. Hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.